Hello cyclists! So if you're watching this video, I guess uh, you already know that I have the new Wenrax to try. So look at it. Can you focus? Okay. So one wax, wax on liquid lube, 120 ml. So if you know me, uh, I've been using one wax for almost two years. Um, uh, so today they've given me the liquid lube to try. This will be very interesting because um, I've seen the application on YouTube uh, on how they apply. It's really simple. I, I'll put the link at the below description. So click on it and you see how they apply. But for me now, it's going to be an, uh, well, it's not an unboxing this time. But I'm just going to open it and show you how it works. Well, I heard a lot of people complaining about how difficult it is to remove the wax from the chains but uh, I find it quite easy for me, I don't know why people are complaining. Uh, of course this is a bit more work but if I really calculate the amount of work I have to clean my bike compared to uh, if I'm using let's say a normal lube, I think I have, when I was using a normal oil lube I probably wash my bike once a week but since I've been using wax I only wash my bike once a month to once in two months if it's not too dirty. Right, so, so far so good. In my previous video, I just used a degreaser and a simple, in fact, it's not even, I won't even call it simple, it's actually a very cheap uh, degreaser chain cleaning tool. Look at it. This probably, if you get it from Shopee, or I mean, I'll, I'll add the link below as well. I probably bought for Shopee for about eight ringgit, below 10 ringgit, it's so cheap. <laughs> and it does a great job. So I'm gonna show you my clean chain, chain. Uh, I probably need to degrease my chain two times to really make it clean and then of course use a brush to brush up all the wax. So. Right, so this is after cleaning my chain. Uh, sorry I didn't take a before and after video but I can tell you before it was really gunky, lot of uh, wax all around the place. But after a quick five minutes watch with the degreaser and the chain ring tool, you can still see a bit of wax here. Probably that's why people are complaining, can't get 100% clean, but I bet if I remove it and really spend some time or, you know, put in, put in one of those electric cleaning kit that some shops have and probably it will be faster. But if you look at it, it's actually very clean already. I'm very happy with it. So this chain I've been using to close to about, um, maybe close to, let's see if you can see it, close to about 3000 km, it still looks fine. I mean, shifting still works. So, yeah, it's pretty clean. You need to have a very clean chain and dry chain before you apply this. So, um, I've uh, wind dry it where I had, to, I had to blower, I had a cloth to run around the chain to make it dry. Then I used an air blower to just blow it until as much as possible all the water is out and left it out for about, I think, about 10 minutes. So I think the chain should be as dry as it can get. I'm not too sure. I mean, probably still a bit, but I'm just lazy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna apply it now, so we see how it goes. Let's say before you lubricate, always shake it first. A good shake for it. Let me show you the bottle itself. This is the bottle. Um, this is, when you get it new, I actually tried already. There's actually a red cap here you need to remove. So I pop it out. Oh, it's new. Ah, oh. Okay. Okay, if you remember, the wen wax actually smelled pretty nice. Let me try smelling it. Okay. I'm doing this so that you all don't need to do it. Okay. I gave it a big old sniff. And yep, not as nice as the wen wax. The wen wax smells more uh, tropical, I guess. Okay, so this is how the wax is, close it back, and it's a twist and pour. Okay, so I'm going to give it a go, see how it goes. Okay, hope this works. First time, I'm not too sure how it's going to come out. It's not coming out, oh, it's too close. Ha, <laughs> still close, sorry. There you go, oh, there you go, okay, it's too much. I think I might be putting a bit too much, so let me just slow it down a bit. This is definitely much easier than using the wind wax. Let's just apply. 
done. So I'll give it a few turn. Then your thumb and index finger, just run it around to press it in. So I understand I have to leave it to dry. Um, so I'm going to leave this bike alone to let the wax dry. I'm going to show you in close up how it looks after application. So after applying it, uh, this definitely goes into the chain better than the wine wax I feel. You can see it's all in the link now. There you go. It's all in the link now. I can see that the applications even oh you can see that bit spill off should be easy clean mm -hmm. the only thing is it's definitely hitting all the chain ring but again I believe once the wax dries off it'll be quite easy to remove application was really easy. Lubrication has been deeply penetrated into the chain, I think. I don't know inside, but it, uh, exterior and around the link itself is quite uh, penetrated. As you can see now, most of the wax looks hardened. All right. So it's going to be a bit hard, a bit stiff. So once you reach to that point, it's good to just give it a good spin to loosen up the chain. Just move it about. There you go. Good to go. So I'm gonna. So I'm going to give it a, a ride next week and see how it goes, how it performs. Is it shifting to smooth? Is it quiet? Uh, hopefully it rains as well so we get to test it in the rain and dry as well. So I'll keep you updated in the next ride.